So you've created a target list of prospective investors in your company and you're ready to pitch your idea. So what makes a killer pitch deck and what are the softer things you need to do to make it a terrific presentation? Here are some tips that will really help. Prior to getting in front of investors, do your homework. Do some homework on the angel investor or the venture capitalist that you're pitching. Know something about him or her personally. Ask them questions. Don't be afraid to play to their vanity. Don't overdo it, but definitely you know, these are impressive people and they have impressive credentials. Most of the focus will be on the customers that you're servicing and the problem you're solving. It has to be a major pain point for that customer. Are they satisfied with their current solution? How much value would your solution offer? What are your customer acquisition costs? What are the uses of the money that you're raising and what milestones can be reached in the time frame that you have that money? You should also be able to do a two minute, very clear, crisp, articulate, enthusiastic elevator pitch that explains your target customer, the problem you're solving, the size of the market opportunity, your unique value proposition, and your competitive advantage. Be transparent, communicate directly, and always follow up on any actions in a prompt manner. Investors will not give their money to someone that they don't trust. They will not invest in someone that does not have high integrity. They will expect a level of competency and expertise that is reflected in a track record. Don't be afraid to leverage other people's credibility. If you have key advisors, key mentors that are directly involved in the company, talk about them. Typically entrepreneurs want to take 80 to 90% of a meeting to talk about their product or their solution. Investors want to spend 80 to 90% of the time talking about the business and 20% talking about the product. My suggestion, talk about the business. Nothing in business ever happens without a customer. Understand and articulate the customer and their problem. Do this before you discuss the solution. Be prepared to deal with rejection. This is going to happen. You're going to be rejected. Not everybody is going to invest. So be persistent, but be patient at the same time. A no answer doesn't necessarily mean no forever. It may just mean no, not right now. Be realistic in the amount of time it will take to raise a round of financing. It could take a few months. I recall going to Sand Hill Road to speak with five or six VC firms per day in a row. And even more so during the IPO Roadshow when we took in Tropic Public, when I was talking to 10 to 12 investor groups per day, not including breakfast, lunch, and dinner meetings, where we also talked to either groups of investors or individual investors. This lasted for two straight weeks. It can be very tiring. The story can be boring on the 27th or 28th time you tell it. Don't let it get boring. Keep your energy level high. Keep your interest level high. Speak with enthusiasm, passion, and authority. Investors are looking as much as you and your passion and your drive as they are at the idea. Passion is essential to get a deal done. It is not sufficient to basically just have a good idea. You actually have to have a good idea, of course, but a strong business model is also essential. You have to show passion and you have to show drive. I can't overemphasize that enough. A good investor presentation should take you about 20 to 30 minutes. You don't want to go over. You should schedule a meeting for an hour and you should arrive early. If you're lucky, the investor will have lots of questions and the meeting may take 45 to 50 minutes of their time. In my experience, running companies, buying companies, and investing in companies, nothing impresses me more than an entrepreneur that is passionate, prepared, calm, and cheerful and of course somebody that instills trust and has high integrity. If you're prepared, then you can be excited to answer questions. You don't have to be nervous. You've thought through the, and nearly everything that could be asked. And if the occasional thing comes out where you can't answer the question, you follow up promptly. Your, your answer should be articulate and clear. I hope that helps. Um, if you do have a great idea, I am also an angel investor, so would love to hear from you and hear your ideas. 
This is Patrick Henry, the CEO of Quest Fusion, with the real deal, what matters.